Hello everyone, this is Canfar here. Today I present to you our new software is calling Canfar Spot Scanner. Actually, this supporting uh, multiple SDR hardware, uh, including RTL and AirSpire and Hacker AF devices. Um, the software uh, to have uh, automated signal detection and analysis reporting. And uh, I think it's a, it's a GPU radio scanner. It have an uh, intelligent signal detection system that can uh, identify RF signal across uh, wide band frequency uh, with the remar remarkable uh, position and uh, it have a threshold based detection configure the sensitivity based on your environment and actually we put uh, our algorithm to to accurately detect the signal at the uh, spectrum uh, boundaries and uh, we put a logarithm to improve the frequency position uh, during the scanning. And we have uh, a detection, uh, a logging and comprehensive log for all uh, detection signals. Let's generate a detailed statistical uh, reports about uh, your RF environment. So let's uh, start to you what this software is capable to do. Actually, here you see. I put uh, air spy. You see here it's uh, 10 megahertz bandwidth here. So any signal is put here in this ocean in the 10 megahertz bandwidth, it will be logged and detected here. Let's try uh, now without any scanning. I am my frequency here is 433 megahertz. And we have here a threshold, we're talking about it, uh, what is, and the absolute minimum, and cool down. This is a cool down in millisecond. Let's try to put, try to send the signal from my remote control. As you can see, uh, I think you hear uh, from my microphone the, when I push the button. Now, here the frequency detected. As we can see, let's try again. As we can see, it's detected again. Here, my remote control frequency. So, any spike here detected based on uh, what you put for uh, absolute and for the threshold, it will be logged here. So, let's try now to start a scanning and let's see we, from here you can clear the detection uh, let's see does that detect my uh, mini remote control uh, mini signal here the weak signal let's try scanning from 400 megahertz to 500 megahertz 100 megahertz of bandwidth let's try to scan the d will millisecond i put here 40 Okay, now we are sta scanning. You see how much the speed of this scanner. Okay, now let's try to detect my remote control. As you can see here, it's detected. Let's try to push again. As you can see, let's try to push again. As you can see, it's detected in during the scanning. Okay, now let's try to test my radio. Let's put the frequency 4421700. Okay, here my uh, huge F radio. Let's try clear the report or keep it, no problem. Let's try to push to talk. As you can see, it's detected here, 421701. Let's try to push again. As you can see, it's detected here. As you can see the pulses here in the 3D, it's detected here. Now, as you can see, during scanning fast speed GPU scanning, this is, can they name it a GPU scanner actually? Because uh, let's try to push the talk again. As we can see, the push to talk detected. And uh, let's talk about the signal strength uh, classification. 
we categorize of signal from very weak to very strong when you do analysis report. I will uh, show you now. But uh, before that, let me talk to you about the threshold here. The threshold is the relative power uh, level above the noise floor required to trigger detection. Uh, lower values increase the sensitivity actually, uh, but may produce the full uh, positive. And uh, we recommend a starting value from uh, minus uh, 40, and you can play with that. And we have the, here the absolute. You see here the absolute min, minimum and dB. It's a minimum absolute power level required for detection, and uh, regardless of the relative threshold, and that help filter actually out the weak signals. And uh, we started here from uh, minus 20, or you can try for m minus uh, 15. And we have here a cool down. The cool down is a minimum uh, time between detection to prevent uh, duplicate logging of, uh, of the same signal actually. And when you run the software, it's, it's, uh, it's two seconds. You can uh, decrease it while scanning as, as you like. So let's try now to, to click on an analysis report, as you can see from here. Here the analysis report, you see the detection timeline and you, you see the top frequencies report, as you can see, and you can export from uh, save, click on save report and export it to your PC. You see here the top frequency detection. Five unique, you see here up the device what you use. Here my device I use AeroSpy. And here you see the sample rate you use while scanning. And here you see the signal uh, strength the detection uh, from, uh, you see from here, very strong how much dB to strong to medium to weak to very weak. And you see here the detection timeline. Actually, and you, you see here the scanning information from start to stop. You see everything here and signal and the will time you see everything here and you can save it to your PC so this actually is very powerful I think it's very powerful GPU scanner you can rename it like like this actually this is canvas spot scanner it's an intelligence signal detection system uh, combined with uh, comprehensive analysis reporting make its essential tool for understanding uh, your uh, RF environment I think Okay everyone, thank you for watching and stay tuned for next video. Ciao ciao.